in Dukey, they had a number of really passionate people who had a whole lot of ideas and they came together and formed a Dukey Arts Committee. And then there was the iconic quarry in Dukey. And so their project was initially called the Dukey Epitheatre and was going to be all about how this could become an iconic performance venue. And in coming together to work on and plan the project, they realised they wanted that vision to be for so much more than one site in Dookie. They wanted it to be about all of Dookie. And if you think what makes us all tick, love of land, care of country, connection to place, is at the heart of it. And place and spirit are the foundations of art and culture and humanity. We have a passionate community, we already had that. And it's a rural community, it's a small mm. country town and come hell or high water, if something needs to be done, it will be done. It's not all just farming, it's an eclectic sort of uh, group, really, which is great, I think. What is great and unique about Duke is our beautiful red soil. It was grounding people and that's really what we wanted the community to be involved at an earthy level. And that's a lot of the, um, the mudding up that we did around the place. You know, the buses and the art on the walls, sculptures, using all very natural materials. The Duke Earth event really was a celebration of all of that. We took all our different types of seeds from the seed bank to the primary school and we got microscopes and the kids would sort of look at them, draw them. Then they worked with an animator that uh, turned them into their little creatures that ended up on the projections. We've run theatre workshops, movement workshops, welding workshops, film nights, the, weaving. The school children have been involved with the shadow puppetry. It was really important to bring the community in along the way. Because we were purchasing equipment for the hall, People would turn up and learn how to set up lighting, the sound system that we bought and the screens and so forth. It is a conservative community, it's a farming community and $350,000 to be spent on something creative is a whole new concept. And there was a lot of fear that it would be wasted. That's when we decided that an opportunity to showcase the hall, refurbish the hall, really turn it into a theatre as such. And so we've done that. And we can see it being a great legacy for our community going forward. It's nearly five years since we arrived in Dukey, and it's been a wonderful experience for us. Probably, I might say, the best years in my life. We found our home here. Our local mechanical workshop, Brian, said to me, it's amazing, you know, I've had all these farmers for years who come in, they're complaining about the weather, and now they come in and say, God, just see what they're doing up the road, that arts thing, that's not bad. It's broadened people's horizons, and we probably won't see the result of that until down the track a little bit, I reckon. The imagination, sensitivity, strength and enthusiasm of the artistic team has had very positive effects on many people in this community. I believe the real relationships that form during the experience of creating art with each other is one of the most powerful things about a project like this. I'm really thrilled with how it's affected our primary school kids. Their perception of art is now way bigger than what it ever could have been. Yeah. They've seen adults working as artists, would never have otherwise. But yeah, it's been wonderful to be inspired by them, for me, personally. We really hope to do a lot more, and, and now we can. A lot of the infrastructure that we've got in place will enable us to do that. To experience performance and projection in a space that is surrounded by rock, to see Dreamtime stories and contemporary stories woven into a work which was about land and about country and about children and about the future, that was unforgettable.